Yo, hello and welcome to another video from the Swedish linguist uh, and uh, today we're gonna talk about how to produce the hue sound and this is one of the most difficult sounds to uh, pronounce in Swedish and um, I think that's, this has two reasons. First of all, this sound is unique for the Swedish language. There are similar sounds in other languages but uh, there's no exact equivalent actually. And second of all, most consonants in most languages are actually a bit modified by the, by the vowels that come before them. Uh, and they're not pronounced in the exact same way always. For example, in Spanish, if you take the word jamón and México, those two j are not the same because of the vowel that comes after. In jamón, the j is pronounced further back, j, because the vowel is a back vowel. In, in México, the e is a front vowel, so so the sound is more like H, Mexico, Jamon, H, H. It's different. For the Swedish Hue sound, you have to keep that in the back of the mouth. You cannot modify it depending on what uh, vowel comes after. And this is where it gets tricky. Um, and today I will teach you, first of all, how to uh, make the sound, and second of all, how to make it stay in the back. So, how do you make the how do you make the sound? It's actually pretty easy. You take a K, K, and you drag it out. K, K, and then you just remove the initial K sound. So you're, so you're left left with it. H. It kind of sounds like a an angry cat. H. So, K, K, H. So you have this H sound. And that's pretty much how, how you do it. Then the tricky part comes. How do you make it stay in the back? And I will use the Swedish word for cow, which is ku. So say ku. And then you do the same process. You go from ku to ku. And then from ku to hu. And this is pretty much how you make the sound. Hu. You just have to keep your mouth in this u way while you make the hue sound, and then after that, you say the rest of the word. So, for example, in the word huina, it means to shine. First you say hu, and then ina. It's almost like you put a little u in between, so huina. Think of the word queen. If you would say, if you would um, replace the, the k with a hue, it would be huin, and it that is pretty much how you say the word for shine in Swedish, huina. So putting a tiny little u in between could actually help because it will keep your mouth in in this back formation. So huina, huina, but just make the u really really short, huina. And then we can try some other words. Actually, obviously, words with back vowels are much easier, like hal or hurta, because the sound is naturally in the back. But when you say words like hue or hued, then you have to somehow make the sound stay in the back. And that's where putting a little u in between can, can help. So when you want to say hue, you start saying hue, hue, and you just try to make this u kind of very short. So hue, hued, hued, hued. Weird. And this is pre pretty much how you do it. So, so just think of this, think of keeping your mouth as an U and then say the rest of the word. And this is how you start. And then as you practice, it will become more natural. So yeah, let me know if this was useful for you. If you have any questions, any requests, and you know, like and subscribe and all this stuff. And uh, I hope I see you in the next video.